Okay, I am back today with another roundup of gift ideas, and I know I am so sorry for continually posting things on all this stuff you could buy that really is not important, let's be real. But it is Christmas time, and I find these to be really fun, sharing things that I like. So this is December Favorite Things Christmas Gift Edition. And these are a bunch of things that I recommend would be great gifts. These are some things that are on my list, been favorite things in the past, things around my house that I already have received that I love. Um, so maybe you'll find some gift ideas here. I will not do another favorite things or things you should buy this Christmas again in December. So this is it, but you guys tend to like these. So let's do this. Okay, so one of the things on my list is a Brixton hat. I love these hats. I think they're so cute and stylish. I adore this certain hat. I think it's cute. I think it's fun. I like wearing hats. So this is on my personal Christmas list. Okay, one of my favorite things is really good salt. I like putting salt on top of my cookies. I just love good salt. And one of my favorite salts, especially for baking, is the Malden Sea Salt Flakes. You can buy it on Amazon for super cheap. And I just had this like old cardboard salt container and I really wanted a new nice salt jar for Christmas. So I found this really pretty one um, from Crate and Barrel for $15. And so I added this to my Pinterest 2016 wish list. So this would make a great gift for somebody inexpensive. Just pair the Malden Sea Salt with a cute salt jar. Um, this marble one, you can find cute wood ones, cute ceramic ones from Anthropology. I feel like that would make a great gift, hostess gift or whatever. I've mentioned before how much I love my Opal Beauty Counter lip gloss and I would love this new color. I think it's just a pretty subtle color for your lips. So I'm asking for this for Christmas. I feel like this is a great gift for anyone. I feel like it's a special treat since it isn't the cheapest lip gloss, but it's wonderful and mine has lasted for a really long time. So this. Beauty Counter Lip Gloss would make a fantastic gift. I personally love hosting. I like having people in my house and I do not have a very good cheese set. So I found this really fun cheese knife set from Target. It's by Threshold and I love the marble and gold. I'm not sure if it's really well made or if it will hold up well, but for the price, you can't beat it. And this is another great inexpensive gift. Could be also a hostess gift for a party you're going to or whatnot. I've shared this before, but one of my favorite kitchen gadgets is the Immersion Blender. I have this one by Cuisinart and I love it. It's super affordable. If someone that you know and love loves to be in the kitchen and does not have this kitchen gadget, this is an absolute must. The hand mixer is key for making soups, salad dressings, baby food. It's just great for pureeing things. So another Christmas gift idea that I think would be fabulous would be magazine subscriptions. These are my personal favorite. I love Real Simple. I love Coastal Living. I love Sunset. And of course I love Martha Stewart. These are my four magazine subscriptions that I absolutely love that I take the time to read. And I think one of these four would be a great gift for somebody. Okay, what girl does not love a new pair of white sneakers? Uh, the Adidas are back in action this year. They kind of take me back to middle school, but I love this pair of Adidas. I found them on Nordstrom. You can buy them at Kohl's or Macy's or wherever, but I love this style shoe. I think it would make a great gift. Um, and I also love white Converse. I got a pair of these last Christmas. They had the sling back slip on they are key they're great like mom shoe sneaker and i think anybody would love a pair of white sneakers another idea would be zoo pass sea world passes passes to your local museum or children's museum as a mom i'm personally looking for things to get out and do with my kids and it's fun to just have a place where you can take them for a few hours in between naps or during the summertime. So for me, I'd, I would personally love a zoo pass, SeaWorld passes for the family. It's not necessarily the cheapest, but a lot of times if you have little ones, they're free, so you just need to buy adult passes. Okay, another thing I've been eyeing is the Kendra Scott necklace. I love this one in particular. I also love the earrings that she makes. I love that they're gold-plated copper, so I feel like the necklace would stand the test of time. It's not the most inexpensive necklace, but I feel like it's beautiful and it would pair with a lot of different outfits. So the Kendra Scott definitely has caught my eye. They have sales on and off, so you can definitely keep an eye out for discounts. And I love like a good just fashion watch. And one of my favorite places to find watches is from the website ASOS, A-S-O-S. And they have just tons of beautiful watches, trendy, hip, gold, tons of different styles. You can buy them for really affordable. So I'm definitely asking for 
a watch for Christmas and I just like to pair it with different outfits so this is a great website for inexpensive affordable watches dish towels I could always use something practical around the kitchen I love getting fresh dish towels they make me happy and let's be honest I spend 80% of my day in the kitchen making a million meals and snacks and cleaning up and what better than a fresh new dish towel. I love Anthropology's dish towels. They have some really cute ones this season, fun prints and patterns, some holiday ones. And um, I just feel like this is a fun gift, stocking stuffer or hostess gift that you could bring. And Anthropology always has just adorable styles. Another item on my on my personal wish list is this low heeled mule. I love this one by Matisse. I've seen it at Nordstrom and here on Soul Society, and I think it is absolutely adorable. I like that it's slip on, easy to go. I like that the heel's low and it's practical so that I can wear it day to day. But this style is definitely in and trending, and it's one of my favorites. So this is high on my wish list, and these used to be on mad sale like 50% off and for some reason they've jumped back up so I'll have to keep my out for a sale. My grandma always asks to get us something practical. She usually gives us money but she also likes to know if we want any towels and I like practical gifts too. So I like these adorable towels I found for super affordable from World Market. I like that they're style and pattern. I like that they're neutral of course and I thought that they were super cute. So this could make a cute practical gift. Last Christmas Travis surprised me and got me the most amazing Le Creuset Dutch oven and this is definitely a pri the priciest item on today's suggestions but if you do not have a Le Creuset pot or a Dutch oven this is phenomenal. I use it all the time in my cooking and baking and I just absolutely adore it. So this is definitely a heftier price tag. You can find sales here and there. Sometimes you can find them at Home Goods or a Le Creuset outlet, but this is for any chef or baker in your life. If they don't have a Dutch oven, this is an absolute must splurge item. It was a great surprise for me and I absolutely adore it. That's it, and so just a few things, like go back through my old favorite things if you're looking for more ideas. Just a few things off the top of my head are Zella leggings from Nordstrom. Those are my absolute favorite and I know there are a lot of yours too. You guys had let me know that you love Zella too. So Zella leggings would be a great gift. This hat from Nordstrom, I believe they still have it would be a great gift, $19. Be a gift card to a, a favorite local day spa. I personally love this little, just small hole in the wall day spa down the street here in Ocean Beach called Hidden Day Spa. And I think a gift card there so I could go get a facial or a massage would be fantastic. You could get someone a bag of your favorite local coffee company, like some just really good coffee beans would be sweet. So those are just some of ideas that I had. I hope that this helps get you going. Also, thank you everyone for entering our first contest giveaway with Simply Natural Babies. I drew two contestants at random last night and this is who won. <laughs> Congratulations guys, I'm gonna be in touch with you to get your address and be sending you your very own pack of Simply Natural Babies. It's December 1st today and I just feel like so ahead of the game. So I wanna get all of this done out of the way so that I can focus on the real meaning of Christmas and not feel rushed and frazzled and just soak up the season for what it is. I'm also gonna show you my house fully decorated once it's all done. So in the meantime, have a great weekend and we'll see you guys next week.